Hi, I'm Joe Long, the Curator of Education for the South Carolina Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum. And the artifact that I've got today is a pair of saddle holsters that belong to a Confederate officer from here in Columbia, South Carolina, uh, Richard Smallwood Desports. Joined the Army at the outbreak of the war. He was in the 3rd Battalion, uh, South Carolina Infantry. Later he would serve as a staff officer for Stephen Dill Lee. Now, Desport's holsters here uh, meant to carry a brace or a pair of pistols. Uh, and these are really holsters for a weapon that was already pretty obsolete at that point uh, for the 50 caliber single shot percussion cap uh, heavy dragoon pistol. Uh, each one of these, the leather covers have become detached over the years so they can be lifted right off. Uh, the cover is pretty important to keep that pistol from getting wet. Going to carry five separate black powder cartridges in there for the pistol so that he can reload conveniently. You've got your cartridge box and holster in a single item. Desports carried these throughout the war on his various mounts. In fact, you can see that he scratched his initials, RD. This was a man who was very concerned about his artifacts after the war and how his legacy was going to go down uh, in history. And these holsters are just one example of the things that he saved. Uh, Richard Desports was probably not thrilled to be issued uh, these single shot percussion cap pistols when uh, Colt's revolvers and other weapons like that were common in the cavalry. In fact, by the end of the war, the single shot pistols, nozzle loaders that would have gone in here, were often issued just to artillery crew crews for the purpose of putting wounded animals out of their misery. 